Hello, hello, hello! Um, this is Wizard101 Trivia. You can get about 100 crowns a day if you get at least 75% or higher on a quiz. And I'm about to show you how to do all the English ones that I know how to do. Uh, so the first question, the word is censure which means harsh criticism or disapproval. Next question, tangible. Now this one's a little difficult if you're trying to look it up online because the meaning itself is, doesn't associate with one of the, an with, associate with any of these answers, but it is, the answer to it is possible to be treated as fact because the aspect of the word tangible means that you are in touch with it. Or that it is something that is, um, graspable or, like, you can get around that idea. Next is Mar. Now, I had to look this one up because I didn't know what it meant. I had never heard of the word before, even when I was in high school. But Mar means a mark or flaw that spoils the appearance of something. Verbose. It means using or containing too many words. Heed. Now, I also had to look this one up at one point um, because I didn't know, because I knew the word, but I didn't know what the definition uh, it was specifically going off of. But this one means to pay particular notice, especially to children or helpless people. Next question is advocate. So, this one is, means you're talking on behalf of someone, which mean, is this answer down here, which is you plead for a cause or, um, you plead for a person's, uh, idea or case. Oh, this one I had to look up too, because I had no idea what it meant. I heard of the word, but I never knew what it meant. Parsimony. It's a process in which you are very penny pincher uh, with money. Uh, belittle. Now this one you would think is harsh criticism or disapproval, but it is indeed not. It is less than the authority, dignity, or reputation of someone. Recalcitrant. It means to be marked by stubborn resistance, uh, uh, it means marked by stubborn resistance to authority. Abstract. Now this one's easy because it's just art. Just think of it like art. An abstract art piece is something that's not associated with any specific instance. It's just random. Comply. So this is the opposite of recalcitrant. It's when you act with some uh, upon someone's command, rule, or wish. Facilitate. It just means to make it easier. And you should have ten crowns at the end of this. Uh, I'll claim my reward. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I will show the correct answers just so you can see them. Looks like we're only going to be able to do these three right now. Because uh, these four are still on cooldown. So we're going to do 10th grade vocabulary. Um, let's see. Malady. It's just a sickness, illness, disease, or disorder. Eloquent. Basically just expressing yourself clearly. And effectively. Malicious. It's wishing evil or harm upon others. Malcontent. It's when you are dissatisfied with existing state of affairs. Congregate. So congregate just means to come together in a group or assemble. Segregate is the opposite of that. It's when you are separating from that person or group. Soliloquy.
It's basically just talking to yourself for a dramatic monologue. It's used in Shakespearean plays. Phonetic! It's literally just something to do with the sounds in a language. Juncture! Uh, uh, juncture just means the joining together, the point at which two things are joined. Injunction! It is a formal command. Next question. Malevolent! That's the other one. Uh, malevolent. It's wishing or appearing to wish evil to others. Uh, gregarious. It's seeking and enjoying the company of others. Uh, that should be it. And we should get our crowns. Yep. And then we're gonna show the correct answers. The next one is the spelling trivia. Now this one is a little hard sometimes, depending. Um, aggressive is spelt with two G's and two S's. Oh, this is easy, because this is a state. <laughs> um, when I re how I remember this word is it's connect E cut with just one S and two P's. Which word is spelled correctly? Oh, this is one. This one can be hard sometimes. Um, abbreviate is with two B's and an I. Okay, so anonymous. Just remember that it's O U and not A U. Hygiene. Okay, so hygiene is spelt with a Y next to the H and then an I. Bureaucratic. It is U R E A U. Which is how, you, this is how you spell bureau in the first place. Abyss. It does not have the S. It has, it's without the S. And then Australia. I always get this wrong. It's this one. Uh, February. The way that I remember is, this is the R become, comes before the U. Okay, next question. Physique. This one's easy. Um, it is not P-H-I, it is P-H-Y. Which word is spelled correctly? When, the way that I remember this is that it's wed nest day, which is this one up here. Alright, that should be be a hundred percent yes it is um and then we have time for one more quiz um, the greek mythology one has but all right so we're gonna go with greek mythology okay so which greek god is the god of war okay so this one's easy Ares is the er eris er, is the correct answer uh, which Greek god is the goddess of springtime? Um, she helps her mother, which is Demeter. Uh, this one's easy. I don't know if this is correct in terms of relations, but it's Eros, and he is the son of Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love and beauty. Um, it is Hades. That is the Lord of the Underworld. Uh, next question. This one's Apollo. So, the goddess of love, desire, and beauty is Aphrodite. Okay, so, time to tell you who the Sun Titan is. It's Helios. Okay, so this one's Demeter, uh, the goddess of corn, grain, and harvest. Which Greek god- okay, so I don't know if this is technically a god or not, but it's Pan. Or Pan, sorry. It's Pan. Uh, which Greek god is the god of fire and forge? That's Hephaest Hephaestus, sorry. Uh, then, okay, so it's Hera is the goddess of marriage and childbirth. Okay, so- this one always trips me up because I always keep thinking it's Heb or Hebeb or Heb. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And it also has a misspelling. 
of the goddess's name, but the goddess of discord is Iris. See your score! It should be 100%! Yay! And once again, these are the correct answers. Sometimes it gives different ones. Um, but if you want to know any, if you have trouble with any of the other answers that come up, just on a side note, the god of the, uh, the king of the Olympians is Zeus, and the god of the sea is Poseidon. And I think that's all I can do for this video right now, because all the other ones are on cooldown. But we will be revisiting that as soon as these ones become available. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps. Uh, I will see you next time in the next video. Bye!